What the oh heck? Oh my goodness. Hi everyone and welcome back to another Naruto reaction. Before we begin, as always, thank you to the patrons on Patreon. If you want to join us on Patreon, the link is in the description. Go check it out for early access to our footage and exclusive content like filler episodes and movies that are only on Patreon. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to this channel. Also subscribe to the ton of other channels that we have, which are all within the link in the description. Last but not least, check out our merchandise, which is also within the link in the description. Like this video, comment down below. And with all that being said, let's get started with this reaction. And they're just gonna wait for the Akatsuki? Even an ant couldn't get past us. Excuse me, ma'am. We've received a report from 3rd Platoon. Border areas C and E are clear. No sign of the Akatsuki. Then where are they? They're hiding out. Areas F and G. All clear, ma'am. We still haven't found the Akatsuki. Wow. I can see that. That is crazy. Why can't we find them? Have we heard from Team Asuma at the Fire Temple? No, milady. Nothing reported yet. They're the only ones. They had a far way to go. Asuma's oh, so pissed about his boy. I actually feel really bad. What's this all about? Those guys survived because they were gone when this happened. You've come from the Leaf Village, correct? Yes. Greetings to you all. I am the head monk in charge of the Fire Temple. I had been away from the temple for quite some time, but when I heard what had happened, I rushed back as quickly as I could. How horrifying. It was a terrible sight indeed. It's completely destroyed. Whoa. Wow. Dude, Hidan and Kakazu went to work. They were in and out so quickly, too? This is awful. Where's Chidiku? Actually, we've been unable to find Lord Chidiku's remains. Uh, Captain Asuma. Well, sir, as much as I hate to bring this up, Bingo Chidiku book? does still have a 30 million Rio bounty on his head on the black market. Man. Whoa. 30 million Rio? That's quite a large bounty. If the Akatsuki knew, they'd try to collect. So that means the enemy is carrying his body along with them. Shigamaru was very bright. Hey, Zuma, where are the collection offices? Including the one closest to us. There are five locations in total. Well, this should be easy now. What's on the feet of those pigeon? They're sending messages with them. Now the other teams can head to the exchange points closest to them. All right, let's hurry. Please wait a moment, Lord Asuma Sonatubi. Allow me a moment to offer you a prayer. Please, it would be an honor. That's very kind of him. I wonder if he's actually saying anything. He's so affected by the death of his friend. Dude, they were close. Yeah, I never realized that. This is our first time finding out about their friendship, too. They probably haven't seen each other in a very long time. Oh, that's really sad. He has to go avenge his friend now. I'm the only member of the Guardian Shinobi 12 left now. Oh, really? I wish we could have shared just one more of our online talks. Mm. There's still so many things I wanted to talk to you about. Asuma's character has become so deep. Ah, oh, man. Look at the body just hanging off the back. And it looks like it's been dead for a long time. Please be safe on your journey. We cannot thank you enough. And sir, we'll do our best to find Shiriku. Please don't push things too far in your quest. As a former member of the Guardian Shinobi 12, you will have a bounty on your head. I was thinking that was a possibility. Wow. You have no need to worry about me, sir. You know the bounty on my head? It's five million more than his. No freaking way. Yeah, Dude. The only thing to worry about with Asuma is that he smokes too much. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I sure hope that doesn't get in the way of anything in the future. We're back to Naruto. Mm. Hey, what happened with the training? He went to all that trouble making more food pills. She's gonna find all the ones that they didn't eat. Nobody's here, huh? Oh, Sai. Well, let me guess. You came to check in on Naruto like I did. Naruto's training. Was it postponed? Mm, he probably went off somewhere to refocus. His body and mind can't keep up such intense training without taking a break now and then. No, ramen. no way. Ramen. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> he can barely hold himself up. <laughs> While we're here, why don't you give one of these babies a try? Oh no, this is gonna be good. A mud ball? That's huge. So I was like, what is that, a mud ball? I want to try it. He's going to throw up. Oh, oh. Look at his face. Oh. 
He's gonna pass out. <gasps> oh my gosh, she just left the other chunk of it. What does that say? I have no idea. It's like this tastes like shit. He took the tiniest bite too. <laughs> it's having the reverse effect on him. I wish he threw up. See Naruto? We're here. Hello. Woohoo! We're back. Hi. I met him with the same energy that he brought. <laughs> Listen, old man. Extra large pork miso with extra pork on the double. Well, we have a new <laughs> Take a look. New extra menu? with extra on the double. I still want an extra large pork miso with meat. Noodles al dente. Is it called the Naruto or something? As of today, we've made some pretty big changes to the lineup. We serve dipping noodles. Wow. I'm sticking with extra large pork miso with meat. And go ahead and throw in some pickled red Would ginger. You, listen, we don't serve ramen here anymore. No way. They did not do that. Blasphemy, man. Naruto is so pissed right now. So this is a dipping noodle shop now? See, my daughter Ayame went off to get some professional training as a noodle maker. She came home and said, Dad, the age of dipping noodles has arrived. We need to take Chiaku in a new culinary direction. <laughs> <laughs> she would do that. Bro, just give us the damn ramen. If Ichiraku doesn't change too, we'll fall behind the time. This place is empty though. No one wants it. All I wanted was a simple pork miso and meat. It'll be fine. Dipping noodles are pretty much the same as ramen. Ramen's not the same as dipping noodles. And I really want ramen, so let's get it going, huh? We've only prepared dipping noodles, so I'm sorry. Ah, oh, come on. Stubborn. Would just be tweaking the soup a little, right? You'd be satisfied with phony ramen like that? I thought you, of all people, would have standards for quality pork miso and meat ramen. I'm really enjoying this. Me too. Like that. I'm just really... Everything is changing around them. Even the ramen shop. <laughs> he just faints. Take the dipping noodles. <laughs> Three orders of dipping noodles. Right. I think I they were super high energy because they had no customers, like you mentioned. Yep. Fresh out of the pot. All right, finally. Just a minute. But what is she gonna do now? Hey. Tad under cold. They need to boil for one more minute. They do. And check the water temperature. Okay. Wait, you're gonna make them over again? <sighs> I feel like this sometimes when I go out to eat. Orders up. Ichiraku dipping noodles. Where's the soup? It's a bit too strong. The product in Yugao Village was slightly more on the refreshing Oh side. my gosh. I'm gonna lose it. Dude. He's not gonna get to eat this episode. I'm really sad for him. He needs it. So hungry. <laughs> <laughs> He's eating the chopsticks. If she takes it away from him, I'm gonna lose it. Nice. Sure, I suppose. Oh, Tricked he's gonna make it ramen. Yeah. <gasps> She's gonna get so mad. <laughs> if I eat it like this, it's ramen. That's quality dipping noodles. You can't do that. No, I am. Somehow you have forgotten the most basic guiding principle for a restaurant tour. Come on, dude. You're getting caught up in the small details, but what's most important is that the customer is satisfied, right? Who knew he was Gordon Ramsay? That's why I put my heart and soul into making these dipping noodles. It's the restaurant's responsibility to advise the customer. This is totally a play. But I want to eat ramen and you won't let me. Sit, you're yelling for after you've sampled our noodles. And that so was delicious. He <laughs> ate it all. We, we didn't, didn't get, get to, to see his face. Oh, yeah. no. I think I actually might prefer it. No. He's going to love it. <sighs> At the end of the day, anything tastes delicious when you're hungry enough. Thanks for the dipping. Oh, my love. goodness. My belly is even though he complained about it, he drank every drop of that heavy dipping noodle soup. You may not agree with how he ate our cuisine, but he did wolf down three bowls, so I guess I should be proud. He is your best customer. How dare you say this to him? Let's get back to the training, right, fellas? Not yet. Before we do, huh? Naruto, I want to show you something very interesting. He opens his mask. <laughs> After eating all that food, you should rest. I'll explain everything then. Ah, great. More complicated explanations. It'll be fine. You know I can sweet talk anyone. I promise it'll be interesting. Thank Who will you. this be? Here's your bill. Yamato, 
You got this, right? No! Oh, me? They're so mean to him. Oh. Whoa. Oh. That was smooth. I will. <laughs> Dang. You can really sweet talk, Kakashi said, say. He really can. You learned that from his books. I'm really getting sick of how lousy you are in conversation. You know, otherwise pleasant trip can be completely ruined if you get stuck traveling with some boring companion. We're not exactly on a vacation here, Hidon. I've also had enough of searching for Jinchuriki when we don't have a clue where they might be. Put yourself in my position. I've been forced to go along with all this extra work. A little sympathy would be nice. Why is he even an Akatsuki member then? Just shut up and keep walking. We're late. We're only late because we have to stop at that collection office or whatever it is. For crying out loud, you're making this tedious trip even longer. It's getting really annoying. He's so hard to satisfy. This is annoying. This is part of an important mission. Fight. Whatever. I know you're in charge of making money for the organization. This bounty? It's a pittance. Barely enough to cover the after party for a tailed beast hunt. Wow. Dang. They're really gonna want Asuma now. I'm really worried for Asuma. I'm sorry. Look how strong. Exactly. Look how strong Kakazu is. He's holding it with one hand. It's like no big deal for him. And what do you plan to do with my valuable bounty? You want to discard it? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. You would rather get rid of this body, wouldn't you? That's true for his religion. What would he do with it? Let's forget that guy and get to the Jinchuriki. Oh, he's not having it. Dang. Why did his arm turn that color? Why? Don't fight then. I don't have time to spend on your pointless distractions. And besides, after this mission, I'll be sending you to the next world. So I won't have to listen to you in this one. What oh, the heck? Oh my goodness. I sure hope whoever our next opponent is, they have enough fight in them so I can finally let off some steam. He's trying to pick a fight. Dude, their relationship is so awkward, but at the same time, it fits so well. They're so opposite of one another in every sense. Hidon doesn't care at all that he pisses him off left and right. What was this thing you had to show me? This is what I wanted to show you. It's very cool. Watch this. <gasps> what is he gonna do now? Wait, is that... This new move? It's a Rasengan. Whoa. Did he learn this? Or did he always know? You can use Rasengan too? He's shocked. It's shocking because he's not a wind style like nature person. Dang, Kakashi is so freaking good. It just amazes me every single time. That's what was surprising Naruto in this episode. I also think Naruto was so surprised because it took Naruto so much effort to learn the Rasengan and he still has to use his shadow clone to do it. I can't believe Kakashi was holding it back all this time. He's like, I got something to show you. Check this out. Boom. And he just whips out the Rasengan with ease. I think a huge chunk of this episode was filler and it almost seems like the interaction between Naruto and the restaurant was a play on something that happened in Kishimoto's life and I would really want to find out if that actually happened to him for him to have included it in the anime. The biggest takeaway from this episode was learning how much bounty is on Asuma's head. That in conjunction with finding out how much Kagazu really wants more money definitely makes me worried for Asuma's life. Asuma did reassure us in this episode saying that he's worth that much more because he's better than his friend but we'll have to see how this all plays out on the next exciting episode. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Stay tuned and as always peace out. Bye!